Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show how to install Kali Linux 2023.3. So let's start. So we get the third update of Kali Linux this year. So the new version of Kali Linux is available on the official website of Kali. I will give the official website link in the description below. So first of all you have to download the Kali Linux installer according to your hardware. Now here you can choose your Kali according to your need. Like virtual machines, mobile, cloud, live boot, WSL, ARM, containers, etc. Here I am choosing the installer image option. Now in installer image, you can download the ISO image according to your system. You can select 64-bit architecture, 32-bit architecture, or Apple architecture. Now download the Kali Linux ISO image. You can download directly from a web browser or you can use a torrent. I have already downloaded the 64-bit Kali Linux installer. So I skip this part. Now the second step is to download an application that helps you create a bootable USB drive. You can use the Bellina Etcher to create a bootable USB drive. It is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Or you can use Rufus tool for this. But Rufus only supports Windows operating system. In this tutorial, I am using Bellina Etcher. Here I am using Windows operating system. I have already downloaded Bellina Etcher and Kali ISO image. Now open the Bellina Etcher application and follow the steps. You can also get the portable Etcher application if you do not want to install the application in your system. Now, this is the Bellina Etcher application. Now click on Flash from File and select your downloaded Kali Linux 2023.3 installer image. Now connect your USB drive to your computer. Now, here you have to select the USB drive that you want to bootable. Your USB drive is at least 8 GB. Now here you can see my Kali Linux ISO and USB is connected with Bellina Etcher. Now click on Flash to make bootable USB drive. Bellina Etcher is a free and open source utility used for writing image files, such as .iso and .img files, as well as zipped folders onto storage media, to create live South Dakota cards and USB flash drives. Now, Bellina Etcher application makes your USB bootable. If you want how to make a bootable USB drive in Mac OS and Linux, please give a comment below. Now reboot your system and boot your machine from a USB drive. In the BIOS setting, you have to make a USB as the first boot device. Or you can press the function key to go boot menu. In my case, F10 is the function key. Here you have to select this option. I am going with UEFI mode. Now Kali Linux installer menu is here. I am using UEFI mode in this tutorial. Now the first step is to install Kali Linux 2023.3. Here you have to select the option of how you want to install your Kali. I choose here graphical install. Now here you have to select the preferred language you want for your system. Now select your location. It is based on the language you selected. Now here you have to select your default keyboard layout. It is detecting the installation media and loads the additional components. Now here you have to select the Wi-Fi interface. 
If you are using an Ethernet interface, maybe you will not get this window. Right now I do not want to connect to the Wi-Fi. So I select the Ethernet interface which is not working. So it will give us the error failed to connect. So click on continue. And select the option. Do not configure the network at this time. And click on continue. Now here you have to enter the host name for this system. Now set up the full username for this system. Now here set up a username for your account. Now set up a strong password for your Kali Linux users. Now we have to create the partitions here. I am creating the partition manually, so I select the manual option here. Now we have to know about our partitions. So I want two partitions where my data is saved. So this is the most important part. Otherwise, we lose our data. But this is the most important thing. I am using Kali Linux as my primary operating system. So my Windows 10 or 11 will be deleted permanently. If you want your Windows 10 or 11 operating system do not follow this tutorial. Click on the I button where you can learn about Kali Linux Dual Boot or Kali on Virtual Machine. So now, we will continue with this tutorial. Just double click on the partition. And then select the delete the partition option. You have to follow the same process until you delete all these partitions. So now we have free 161.3 GB of space. And these are two partitions where my data is saved. Now select free space and click on continue. Create a new partition. Now here set the space you want. If you are using UEFI mode you have to create an EFI system partition. So the first partition is our EFI system partition. Make sure you follow the steps. So here you have to choose the EFI system partition option. So this is the EFI partition. Now select the done setting up the partition option here and click on continue. And now our second partition is swap partition. So again follows the same steps. And here you have to set the size between 4 GB to 8 GB. And this partition is our swap partition so here you have to select the swap area option. Now select the done setting up the partition option here and click on continue. The swap partition serves as overflow space for your RAM. If your RAM fills up completely, any additional applications will run off the swap partition rather than RAM. Now our third and last partition is slash, the root directory partition. Follow the same steps. Now I am using the rest of the size. But this partition minimum of at least 20 GB. Select the primary partition here. Now here file system is the ext4 and the mount point is slash. Now our partition part is done. Select this option and click on continue. Here verify the partitions information and select the yes option and click on continue. Now your base system is installing in your system. Now here you have to select the options like which desktop environment you want. 
The default desktop environment is XFCE. I am going with default settings here. You can choose as you want. Now here selected software is installing in your system. It takes some time to install Kali Linux in your system. Now our Kali Linux 2023.3 installation is completed. Click on continue to reboot your system. So that is it. This is the way how to install Kali Linux 2023.3 on your machine with UEFI mode. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel. So you don't miss out on my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next video.